We all know the richy rich of our times who amass hundreds of billions of dollars every year and stay rich for years. Like Bill Gates, who has been in the top 5 richest people in the world list for the last 25 years. It's hard to see him falling down, but there are many billionaires who con people for years and spend recklessly and were stripped of their billionaire status and went bankrupt. Hey guys, I'm Jayesh and you're watching Hustlers TV. In this video, we will see a list of 8 billionaire businessmen or women who went bankrupt. At number 1, we have IK Batista. IK Batista is a Brazilian German serial entrepreneur who made and lost his fortune in mining and oil and gas industries. The self-made billionaire has been widely known for his lavish lifestyle and became an inspiration for younger Brazilian generation. As of early 2012, Batista had a net worth of 35 billion dollars, ranking him the 7th wealthiest person in the world and the richest man in Brazil. He publicly boasted several times that he would overtake Mexican oil baron Carlos Slim to become the world's richest man by 2015. Those aspirations came crashing down when his once booming oil company OGX went bankrupt in 2013. In July of 2018, he was sent to 30 years in prison for bribing former Rio de Janeiro governor Sergio Cabral. Now he's spending time in jail. At number 2, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein. Jocelyn Wildenstein is an American socialite known for her extensive cosmetic surgery resulting in her cat-like appearance and nickname Catwoman or the Lion Queen. In 1999, Wildenstein divorced her billionaire art dealer and businessman husband Alec Wildenstein and received 2.5 billion dollars as divorce settlement and other 100 million dollars each year for the following 13 years. Wildenstein is known for her extravagant lifestyle. To give you an example of her exotic lifestyle, she once got her yearly telephone bill at $60,000 and food and wine cost at $547,000. Once worth billions, Jocelyn is worth much less now. By May of 2018, she spent almost all of her $2.5 billion and filed for federal chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Today she is worth only a few millions. At number 3, we have Adolf Merkel. Adolf Merkel developed his grandfather's chemical wholesale company into Germany's largest pharmaceutical wholesaler, Phoenix Pharma Handel. At his peak in 2007, his estimated net worth was over 12.8 billion dollars and was ranked in the world's top 50 richest people. In November of 2008, he lost several hundred million euros when he got caught on the losing end of a short sale of Volkswagen shares. It is believed that he lost as much as 500 million euros. His troubles were made worse by the spreading financial crisis of 2008 which hit his corporate empire hard. Feeling powerless to act, he took his life on 5th of January 2009 by throwing himself in front of a train. He left a suicide note for his family which said, "I am sorry." At number 4, we have Elizabeth Holmes. Elizabeth Holmes is an American businesswoman who founded and was the CEO of Theranos, a now defunct health technology company. Elizabeth Holmes was once lauded as the star of Silicon Valley because of a blood testing startup Theranos which promised to revolutionize the way patients are tested and treated for various diseases and illnesses. Theranos soared in valuation after she claimed that her company had revolutionized blood testing by developing testing methods that could use surprisingly small volumes of blood such as from a finger prick and also claimed that the tests could be performed very rapidly. using small automated devices that the company had developed called the Edison device by May of 2015 Forbes had named Holmes the youngest and the wealthiest self-made female billionaire in America with a net worth of 4.5 billion dollars on the basis of a 9 billion valuation of her company the next year following revelation of potential fraud about Theranos claims Forbes had revised its published estimate of Holmes net worth to be zero and Fortune named her one of the world's most disappointing leaders It was found that their blood testing kit gave inaccurate results and the company had been using commercially available machines made by other manufacturers for most of their testing and not their own Edison device hence fooling the world about their technology her case is in court now and she can face up to 20 years in prison if convicted at number 5 we have Bjorg Olf Gudmundsson the Icelandic tycoon Gudmundsson made his fortune in the brewing industry with his company Bravo Brewery He was also the owner of UK football team West Ham and in 2009 according to Forbes was the second richest man in Iceland with a net worth of 1.2 billion dollars. The same year he declared bankruptcy 
owing $750 million, out of which $500 million were owed to Landsbanki, Iceland's second largest bank. At the time, it was the largest bankruptcy filing in Icelandic history. At the end of the year, Forbes declared his net worth as zero. Much of the reason behind his fall was a result of the plummeting Icelandic economy during the recession of 2008. He was pointed out by the media outlet as the main reason for almost all total collapse of the Icelandic banking system. Lucky for him, his son has bounced back and is now the richest man in Iceland. At number 6, we have Alan Stanford. Alan Stanford is the leader of the second biggest investor fraud case in US history, conning more than 18,000 customers out of their money, most of whom are yet to receive compensation for the crimes committed against them. At the peak of his powers in 2008, he was once one of the richest men in America with an estimated net worth of over $2.2 billion. Stanford was the chairman of the now defunct Stanford Financial Group of Companies, which had several companies including Stanford International Bank, which managed over $8.5 billion of assets for more than 30,000 clients in 136 countries on six continents. On February 17, 2009, he was charged by the Security and Exchange Commission for running a massive Ponzi scheme involving $7 billion in certificates of deposits. On June of 14, 2012, Stanford was sent to 110 years in prison and was ordered to pay $5.9 billion as fine. At number 7, we have Bernie Madoff. Bernie Madoff is widely known as the leader of the largest Ponzi scheme in US history. Madoff was a market veteran. He ran his investment firm on Wall Street named Bernard L. Madoff Investment Securities LLC and even served as a non-executive chairman of the Nasdaq. His gigantic Ponzi scheme began to unwind after investors requested a total of $7 billion in return, and he only had $200 to $300 million left to give. Prosecutors estimated the fraud to be worth $64.8 billion based on the amounts in the accounts of Madoff's 4,800 clients as of 30th of November 2008. On 12th of March 2009, Madoff pleaded guilty to 11 federal felonies and admitted to turning his wealth management business into a massive Ponzi scheme. Bernie Madoff received a maximum sentence of 150 years in federal prison and is now behind bars. And at number 8, we have Sean Quinn. The recession of 2008, as we saw above, forced many companies out of business and several wealthy people went bankrupt. And one of those was Sean Quinn, who was the richest person in Ireland with a net worth of $6 billion in 2006. With the help of his holding company, Quinn Group, he purchased stakes in various multinational companies, including Bupa Island and Anglo-Irish Bank. Soon after the financial crisis hit the Irish banking system, Sean Quinn lost almost all of his family wealth, most of which is attributed to the dramatic losses of the Anglo-Irish Bank. In 2008, one of his business, Quinn Insurance, was fined 3.25 million euros by Ireland's financial regulators because of the insider loans issued by Quinn Insurance. There are a few other billionaire businessmen who have went bankrupt, hence feel free to mention it in the comment section below if you know any. So that's it for today guys, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, if you're new here then please consider subscribing to our channel, feel free to check out our top 10 billionaires list and top 10 college dropout billionaires list. If you have any video recommendations, then please let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.